We had friends, um, and they were a gay couple that uh, had gone through Samaritas. And here in West Michigan, you know, a couple of the major organizations are not extremely friendly to, to gay couples. Probably one of the primary factors in choosing Samaritas was that they would work with us. We're surrounded by amazing professionals that their sole purpose in life is to, sh to take kids that are in situations that are unsafe for them and either repair that situation or their goal is to find stable, loving, safe homes for the kids. When you're a Samaritas family, you guys represent us, DAB represented the boys, and it was really a good kind of yin and yang. We love the folks at DAB, we love Samaritas. It's been wonderful working with both agencies. So I get a little frustrated when people say, oh, you're amazing parents and you do such a great job. No, we have an amazing team. We aren't in this alone, and that's the, that's the piece you don't know. I think the statistic is once a child reaches the age of like 12 or 13, there's like a 75% likelihood that they're probably not going to be adopted. And quite honestly, that is a huge need. It doesn't matter your education level, your right. economic or um, financial status. It's you, you have to love your kids and you have to be strong advocates. The benefits that we have received from loving these kids and bringing them into our home far exceed the challenges that we've endured. Um, they've made us better people. They've completed our family. And if you love on them when they walk in the door and you tell them you're there to be supportive and to help them through it, they're not gonna come after you. You're not part of the problem, you're part of the solution. And that's what we are trying to be, is part of the solution to a gigantic need. They're really, really awesome dads, and I'm glad they have took me into their home. That is very nice of them, and I'm glad that they care about me, and they feed me and give me a place to stay, and they are going to adopt me.